Hello, I just want to jump on really fast and show you how easy it is to use these guided audio writing lessons. It is a podcast, okay? It's a hidden podcast. You're not going to be able to find it unless you sign up. But once you sign up, basically all you're going to have to do is get a link sent to you in the email. So make sure you check your spam folder. We're going to send you a link and then you just go to your phone. You click on that link in the email and it's going to open this little podcast player on your phone. It doesn't matter if you have an iPhone or an Android. Android, doesn't matter, okay? Every phone nowadays, if you have a smartphone, has this little podcast player app, so you can choose which one. But essentially, you're just gonna open that podcast player app, and then you're just gonna select the guided audio writing lesson of your choice. And there's a whole bunch of different lessons in there, so you can, I definitely recommend you start at the beginning. However, you can scroll through, you can decide, you know, classroom sessions, theory sessions, in the saddle stuff, jumping, pole work, uh, dressage, pretty much anything, okay? So that's, that's how easy it is. And then there's also the question of how do I listen to the audios while I'm riding on my horse? You know, especially that, you know, you might be thinking like, ah, I'm not very technologically advanced. Like how complicated is this? It's not complicated, okay? If you can press play on your phone, then you're good. <laughs> so how do you listen to it on your horse? Now, a lot of our students, what they do they simply press play and then their breeches, they put the phone in their breeches pocket. You're already carrying around your phone in your pocket anyways. So that's it. You just press play and then, you know, make sure your horse is fine with the sound. But other than that, most horses, they don't really care. So you just press play and then you ride around and you follow the instructions of my voice, basically. The other option that you can do if you don't want the phone in your pocket is to plug it into portable speakers on outside the arena. You can also press play, set it on the fence post, put it on the mounting block, or if you really want to, you can always listen with earphones or AirPods, you know, anything like that. So it's completely up to you how you want to listen to these audios. Personally, I like to just press play and put it in my pocket, um, or I also press play and then I plug it into portable speakers. That's it. That's what I do. And remember, if you guys ever have any other questions, feel free to reach out to support. Just send me an email and I'm happy to answer any of your questions. So I can't wait to see you guys inside the Writing Lesson Podcast.